What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Terrapin Moohoo. <laughs> this is uh, this is from the Terrapin Brew Company out of Athens, Georgia. It is a milk sweet stout coming in at 6.0 ABV. It is a wintertime serving, so if you see it in your area, you can get these beers. Pick it up, give it a try. If you like stouts, especially milk stout, you're probably going to love this. Uh, I've actually had one of these already. Uh, I had it uh, about two weeks ago and I was very impressed with it. So uh, I would bought two of them at the time and I'm going to get this one to y'all so y'all can uh, see what it looks like and uh, more describe what uh, what I think it is. So, with that being said, the food pairing this is a chocolate dessert type beer but being a milk stout. Uh, the glassware, you could use the pint, the mug, the stein. I got the double glass here today. Uh, I like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I like that on the uh, on the porters and the stouts and stuff because it uh, brings out the aromas. Uh, the beer is not recommended for standard shallow rings at six percent ABV. So uh, if you get it, go ahead and drink it up. Don't try to save it. Let's get the cap off of it. And see what we got here. And get it in the glass. That pours a very, very dark motor oil looking color, about a half a finger of dark brown head. Through the light, I see nothing, not even any tinges of red around the outside. So it is like 60 weight motor oil. No light at all through that glass. None. Zero. Zip. Looks good in the glass. I mean, if you like a stout, you're probably going to really like this. Let's get a nose on it. Man, that's, that's got a lot of coffee, rich, dark caramel malts. It's got the dark chocolate in there, too. I mean, uh, my mouth is watering, so let's get a taste. That's wonderful. You can have that for breakfast. That is so good. Wow. That is such an above average beer. It's really going to get a good grade tonight. That's an extremely good beer. Chocolate. It's smooth. It doesn't have high alcohol. Six percent. It's pleasant. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, when I go to Venice Cellar and I buy these beers, the the guy that works there told me, he said, have you had this? And I said, no. He said, you need to get it. I said, well, I like their stuff anyway. So I picked up two bottles. So when I rang out, he said, I see you got it. I said, I got two. So I wish I'd have got more than that. This is extremely good. Well, that is so pleasant. I just had a subscriber ask me what would be a good beer to go with a steak. Of course, that would depend on what taste you have. You don't want the beer to overpower the food that you have. If you're eating spicy food, you can have a little stronger beer, a IPA or something like that. But if it's not a strong food, you're going to want something that, that pairs well with it that doesn't overpower it. So if you're doing a steak, a pale ale would work good as long as it's not super hoppy. Uh, in the wintertime, 
this would be good. You don't want something that's really super high alcohol to go with a, with a steak, in my opinion. These are my opinions, so uh, this would be very good with a steak. This is something you could sip on while you were doing your meal, so maybe even have some afterward for dessert. Especially if you're going to have some chocolate after your meal. Wow, this would be good. But I'm rambling on. Man, I'm going to sip on this and enjoy it. I'm going to go back and get some more of this if he's got any. It's that good. It's going to get a good rating. Stick around. I'll be right back with it. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I've been sipping on it about 30, 35 minutes now, and uh, this is wonderful. This is at the top of the list, basically. It's, it's pretty impressive. And it's warmed up, and you can smell the chocolate. They use cocoa nibs on this. Uh, they also use the shells from uh, Olive and St. Clair Chocolate Company. So, uh, this is wonderful. I really don't want to chug that. I mean, you can't tell there's any beer in that. It's like a chocolate drink. Wow. This is, this is wonderful. That's a nine and a half on the scale of ten tonight. That's, it's that good. That's the best beer I've had so far in 2011. Wow, that is so good. That is so good. Great Beer gives us a 97 overall and a 97 in the style. And Beer Advocate has it as an A minus. It's it's definitely an A. An a plus. It's not a perfect beer. Like I said, I, I keep searching for that perfect beer. I keep that plateau up here. But that's just that's about as damn close as you're gonna get to a perfect beer, a nine and a half. Uh Wow, that's wonderful. I'm definitely going to try to get some more of that. That is definitely good. And the thing about it is, it's only 6%, so you're not going to be able to sell it. So, if you get it, go ahead and drink it up. Uh, guys, if you've had this, let me know. Give me some comments back on this one. This is impressive. If you've seen it, and you like a milk stout, oh, wow. Man, I wish I had another one. I really do. Guys, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and hope the next beer is as good as this one. We'll see you then.